the turnpike is one of those real transportation gems um, that is the hidden treasure in both Bedford and Fulton County. What's old is about to be new again on the abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike. We believe that the star has have aligned with, with our friends from DCNR, uh, Secretary, and, and our friends with the Turnpike Commission and, and PennDOT. Um, so we, we appreciate the opportunity this is getting at this point in time. The regional group responsible for trying to revitalize an eight and a half mile stretch of the Turnpike that the commission bypassed in 1968, announcing state and federal grants that will go toward rehabbing the old highway into a recreation destination. All these people are going to be working together, plus it takes all of your enthusiasm to make something like this work. It's been a more than two decade effort for Bedford and Fulton County leaders to rehab the historic infrastructure since the Turnpike sold the right of way that includes the Sidling Hill and Rays Hill tunnels, plus the Cove Valley Travel Plaza on what's now dubbed the Old PA Pike Trail. The Turnpike in its day opened up Pennsylvania for transportation and this these pieces of infrastructure like the tunnels were a remarkable advancement in engineering and in transportation that really connected the rural parts of Pennsylvania. And those pieces of civic infrastructure today can bring a new economy and open up areas and open up opportunities in a new way. And it's, um, it's really exciting to be part of that and to be in on the ground floor of that. 13 miles of the original turnpike that followed tunnels originally built as part of the unfinished Southern Pennsylvania Railroad were bypassed as the rapidly growing turnpike sought solutions to traffic jams that bottlenecked the two lane tunnels. While four of the original tunnels were double barreled, the turnpike built a short bypass around the Laurel Hill Tunnel in Somerset County and a longer stretch around Sidling Hill and Rays Hill. In the subsequent years, the Turnpike used the closed highway as testing grounds for everything from emission levels to rumble strips. Since the Turnpike sold the land to a local conservancy in 2001, Bedford and Fulton County civic leaders have been trying to turn the deserted road into a hiking and biking trail. The next generation are going to be uh, a big part of, of using this as a, a showcase for this region. And I think we, can, we know that when we come back here, we're all going to be very proud of what you've, uh, what you've done. The commission also got an opportunity to announce the construction of a new bicycle trailhead at the nearby Sidling Hill Service Plaza that was originally built to replace the Bypass Cove Valley Plaza. Promoted as the gateway to the Alleghenies, the trailhead will serve both Turnpike and community users as an entrance not just to the abandoned Turnpike Trail, but to over 600 miles of trails within a 25-mile radius of the trailhead and allow users to access the service plaza and its numerous amenities like the food service and restrooms as well as a covered pavilion with seating areas, bike racks, a bike wash, and repair station. We at the Turnpike strategically are striving to be a better neighbor, and we see this as a true opportunity to do that. All involved have tunnel vision that the project will finally come to fruition and be a right of way to economic success in the region. With the guidance of the, and assistance of these agencies, I can truly say that the authority now can see the light at the end of the tunnel.